Good morning. I just finished a really relaxing, really nice um, prenatal yoga. And it is eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And I've got a big bowl of oatmeal with some mixed berries in it all ready for breakfast. And I have no kids up. Eight o'clock, no kids up. This never happens. Um, we usually do, do get into a little bit of a summer routine and we went like straight from like school year to summer from going to bed at 7.30, 7.45 at night to now, fuzz on my nose, to now going to bed at between 9 and 9.30. That's just how it works. We have sports stuff like most nights or church the nights we don't have sports and it's just, it's busy and so... I think now that we've had a couple weeks of these late nights, actually we've had like three or four weeks of these really late nights, um, the kids are getting into this routine and yeah, but eight o'clock, that is late. So I am really, really hungry. I've been awake since, actually I woke up just around seven o'clock, so I haven't been up that long, but I am hungry. So I think I'm gonna get myself a bowl of oatmeal and just have a nice, quiet, relaxing breakfast. Don't my kids have the greatest style? <laughs> yes. What in the world, guys? Yes, they do. What did mommy say the rule is, though, for when we go out to get groceries? No. <laughs> you can wear it at home, but when we go get groceries, you got to put your hoodies outside your shirts, okay? Okay, what one are we going to be shopping? Uh, pretty soon. Not yet. Okay. This one I'm wearing. What? Okay. Socks, um, a skirt, shirt, sweater, shirt. You're wearing a shirt and a sweater and another shirt too? No, Good. I'm only wearing a sweater and a shirt. Good grief, guys. Now the crazy thing about today is that that's going to actually feel good because it's a pretty chilly day today. Yeah, it's actually going to feel good. I've been wanting to um, incorporate into our homeschool days um, a morning basket for a little while. I've just been kind of intrigued by, by the idea. And like the idea of being able to just sit down and do some reading time with the kids. Um, we do our read aloud every day. We do our family devotions every day. But especially just dedicating that time to do um, a read aloud to my little ones as well who aren't as interested in our other school read aloud. So yeah, leave all this stuff in the basket for now. Mommy's gonna be in charge of reading these, okay? So I've got this big basket. And I filled it with our, um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to turn around and turn, I'm just going to turn this around and show it to you. So for this week, I've got, this is my home. This is my school. Um, we haven't read it a lot, but it's a book I really enjoy. Then from the library, we have Bears on Wheels. We have this one. This one's ours. Papa, please get the moon for me. Just one that the kids enjoy that we haven't read in a little while. Um, are you my mommy from the library? This is the read aloud um, I'm doing with the kids right now. It's um, the sequel, but like the third book in the Sarah Plain and Tall series. Here is the devotional we're working on and then just one other little kids board book as well. So I plan to change those books up each week for the most part, not our read aloud. I'm sure sometimes that will go for more than a week, but um, I'll change that up. And I just wanna really, do this every day over the summer. This is our first day doing it. I just put this morning basket together yesterday, and so this is our first day really um, having it part of our day. But I told the kids we're gonna try to do this every morning um, during the summer, and then we'll see if we keep it through this coming school year or not. But for now, um, we're gonna do this morning basket every day. We just got home from doing groceries, and I sometimes think, oh, maybe I'll film a little bit when we're at the store today and it almost never happens and it's just too busy. I guess I just don't have any hands free and it's just, it's a little crazy taking four kids grocery shopping. But I did get 25 pounds of strawberries. They were on sale for a dollar a pound. So, but they were all one pound containers. So it seems like a ton that I bought. What is it? A yucky thing, what is it? It just looks like a piece of lettuce. Pick it up and put it in the garbage then. No, 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 don't just step on it. Um, anyway, oh yeah, so my afternoon is gonna be cutting up strawberries and putting them in the freezer. I think I'll probably keep about four pounds in the fridge for us to eat and the rest will go in the freezer because that is a great price. I honestly would have liked to get more, but I would have filled my whole cart. What? Yes. 
that's garbage too. So put that garbage in with the other garbage. Um, what was I saying? I'd like to, oh, I would have even bought more. I would, at that price, I would love to put like 50 pounds of strawberries in my freezer. Zara, stop interrupting money. Yes, that's a milk bag, but it's gotta go in the garbage because it's garbage. Um, but then I would have had room for no other groceries. So 25 pounds it is. There it is all back there. Look at all these strawberries. All done, all that goodness. So hopefully I can find room in our freezer to store all of those. And I am gonna go um, sit down for a little bit. Look, I even got, well, mostly cleaned up from doing up the strawberries. Oh, I should go put those in the freezer. I'll do it after. Um, my back is just kind of sore from leaning over the sink for that long, I guess. So anyways, I'm going to sit down for a minute. I also wanted to mention to you guys, I was just looking through my channel and just, I like to just check on like my analytics and like my, um, my views and likes and what videos are getting a lot of views and stuff like that. And I remember when I first started doing vlogs and I I think a lot of people came to my channel for homeschool or Trim Healthy Mama or that kind of thing. Um, and so my vlogs always got quite a bit less views. Um, and they'd get a, a number of views, but you could always tell my vlogs were the least watched of all my videos. And now when I go through my channel, my vlogs are getting quite a lot of views. Like they're not my most watched video for sure, but just looking through, I'm surprised how many um, vlogs are watched because for a while I was like should I do vlogs like I don't think that many people like to watch them but they're getting more views now and so I think maybe I could be wrong but I think maybe there are some people who watch my channel who only watch my vlogs is there anybody like that who basically subscribes to my channel for the vlogs does anybody like my vlogs that much I think most people are here for homeschool videos and I don't know but anyways comment down below if your favorite videos of mine are the vlogs okay. A grape. Oh, that looks delicious. What's all in your bowl? Um, What's in there? Grapes. What else? This grape. That's a grape. Yeah, what else is in there? Um, this grape. <laughs> what else is in there? Um, Are there bananas in there too? Yeah. And what else? Um, strawberry. Strawberry. Oh, delicious. We love fruit, don't we? Do we love fruit? Yeah. Are you still half asleep? Yeah. I thought so. It's been a few hours <laughs> since I vlogged and I just kept thinking, I'm going to end the vlog, I'm going to end the vlog. Totally forgot. Anyways, we are just out tonight and um, we are bringing Simeon to his baseball game. Can you show Simeon? Where's the baseball star? There he is. Already undoing your seatbelt? <laughs> Nothing to say. All right, well, we're heading into baseball or out to baseball, I should say. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks Bye. so much for watching. Bye. Charity, that's rude. Bye. Where's Zara? Get everybody in there. All right, see you guys next time. Have a great weekend. Ah!